Hi, I'm JD, and your next problem is this. Let's say that you're trying to find the midpoint between two points, and those points are 2 comma negative 5 and 3 comma negative 7. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, finding the midpoint is very straightforward because it's basically finding the averages of the x's and the averages of the y's. And also, it's a point, so you're going to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Some students forget that, so it's important. It's important because that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the midpoint. So anyways, it's the average of the x's. Average means that you add them together and you divide it by the number that's there, by the number of items. So, it's, so you have two points. You have two x's, so you divide it by two. Do the same thing with the y's. Then you just average them out. So your x's is, is 2 plus 3 over 2, comma. Your y1 is negative 5 plus a negative 7 over 2. You see if that can simplify. So you have 5 over 2, and then you have comma, negative 12 over 2. And that's going to simplify. Keep this as a fraction, unless you're told otherwise. Or unless you're trying to plot it, because it might be easier to change it to a decimal when you're trying to plot it. But if you're just looking for a midpoint, just leave it as a fraction. Comma, negative 12 over 2 is going to give you a negative 6. You simply just divide. And that's it.